Welcome to an introduction to proof using properties of congruence. The goal is to introduce proving geometric statements using a two-column proof. In math, a proof is a convincing demonstration that some math statement is true. Proofs are obtained from deductive reasoning rather than from inductive reasoning, and a proof must demonstrate that a statement is true in all cases. A statement that is proven is often called a theorem, and then once a theorem is proven, it can be used as a basis to prove further statements. Let's start by taking a look at the properties of congruence for segments and angles. Notice the reflexive property states that for congruent segments we can change the order of the endpoints, and for congruent angles we can change the order of the points but not the location of the vertex. And for the symmetric property of congruence, notice that the order in which two congruent segments or congruent angles are listed does not change their congruence. And then lastly, the transitive property is kind of like a link. What I mean by that is if segment AB is congruent to segment CD, and segment CD is congruent to segment EF, then the first segment, segment AB, is congruent to the last segment, segment EF. And we can do the same with angles. Let's take a look at our first example. If segment AB and segment CD intersect at point E, as we see here, so that AE is equal to CE, they both have one hash mark, and EB is equal to ED, these both have two hash marks. We wanna prove that AB is equal to CD. So for a two column proof, we'll lift the statements on the left that will lead to our desired proof of AB equals CD, and on the right, we'll give our reasons or justifications. So for number one, we always state the given information. So we know that AE is equal to CE, and EB is equal to ED. And the reason for this, or the justification, is that it's given. Now if AE is equal to CE, and EB is equal to ED, we could say that AE plus EB would have to be equal to CE plus ED. And we saw this property when we solved an equation using a two column proof. This is the addition property of equality. Now using the segment addition property, we can say that AE plus EB would have to be equal to AB and CE plus ED would have to be equal to CD. And again, this is the segment addition postulate. And now, just by using substitution, this is equal to AB and this is equal to CD, so it follows that AB is equal to CD. And that's what we wanted to prove. And again, this was the substitution property. Let's take a look at another example that involves angles. Here we're given that the measure of angle ABC is equal to the measure of angle MBN. We want to prove the measure of angle one here is equal to the measure of angle three. So again, we'll have our statements here and our reasons here. So we'll first start by listing the given information the measure of angle ABC is equal to the measure of angle MBN. This is given. Now the measure of angle ABC would have to be equal to the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two, and the measure of angle MBN must equal the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three. So let's go ahead and state that, and that's gonna be from the angle addition property. And the reason we're tying in these angles here is remember our ultimate goal is to prove 
the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle three. So now that we've done this, using substitution, we can say that measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is going to be equal to the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three. And again, this would be by the substitution property. Now if we subtract the measure of angle two from both sides here, we'll have the measure of angle one equals the measure of angle three, which once again is what we were trying to prove. And again, the way we found this was we subtracted the measure of angle two from both sides, so our justification is the subtraction property of equality. We're going to stop here on this introductory video on two column proofs. We'll take a look at a lot more of these types of proofs in future videos. I hope you found these first examples helpful.